okay so uh, as i was saying that uh, if you open the welcome page uh, uh, on thermal application you can just download thermal application at thermal.co.net uh, i can just paste the link uh, i can just type the link over here you can just click on this link and download your thermal application it's uh, totally free and you can just open this link and download um, for windows Mac or linux it's totally up to you um, so like if you open the okay so I was as I was saying that uh, if you open the the welcome page or thermal application you might see the app version at the bottom uh, and it like it was helpful for uh, for starting that uh, just we you know that we, the people get to see that which version of uh, they are like which version they are using uh, for the thermal and stuff like that but like uh, since uh, we are adding more feature and it's getting more and more complex so we need to see the bigger picture so that's why uh, i have uh, moved that uh, app version from the welcome page to uh, kind of a new place where now it will reside inside the help widget uh, and uh, so i'm just building that part already uh, let me just play some background music And uh, so I I just, I just moved this uh, app version to the help widget, and yeah, and now I'm more specifically working on the the share with feedback uh, feature, uh, which will allow the user to uh, so it will have three or more th three or four functionality in the in the share uh, feed the feedback, and it will include the uh, kind of a, a box uh, a text box area where the user will be able to type the the message itself and then uh, there will be another uh, feature where the user can actually uh, select if they want to share the screenshot of, of the application itself like uh, on the screen which they are uh, viewing I mean uh, of the actual application like not the you know, uh, but that part, uh, that part uh, might be a bit trickier uh, to create that uh, for example even when the user will uh, Click on the share feedback button on the drop down. Uh, at that moment, the the model will itself be opened. So I know it's a bit hard to understand like what I'm trying to say. Uh, but uh, like I guess uh, you just understand like as I will be building the uh, building this feature. So I will just right now work on the on hiding and you know the toggle part of this drop down itself. So by, uh, that's obvious that by default it will be closed and I can just uh, create a click uh, event from another one here. Click event should be of course at the portion mark itself, and over here it should be uh, toggle. I guess the uh, toggle help widget. It will be just a computer property uh, which will just toggle this, and here I can just uh, bind the value itself. I guess like uh, we show or something.
okay so we will be uh, we just help widget and so by default uh, the data property will be uh, false and over here I will just define a data property oops I add data and then curly brackets my machine is getting a lot slower now okay then I need to put it down okay so over here it will be help widget which I have to find above and of course it will be false yeah I guess it's correct it works to show that okay I guess it will work out it is just a slate error so I can ignore that for now and uh, I need to move the computer property dot help widget on oh, one my machine is just piece of crap okay so I guess this should be help widget uh, to the reverse value yeah I guess this should uh, this should work for now uh, later on we can change it So that part is working, and that is under the. Okay, I can just commit that part also. And commit the changes. something is in my eye this is no oh, jump 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 it is the same effect on the left hand I guess it's all right now. Okay. Uh, so it says it should be the next time. Okay, no issues. That's fine. I'll just do this. And at last, this. This. Okay, 
Okay, so they're saying it should be in nine. Mm -hmm. I'm not even able to understand the you know the relation between prettier and yes late. Like they just cannot work side by side. And why the, you know why there can't be just one single tool for all, for all this thing? Like on the other hand, like ESLate is very helpful with all the JavaScript and TypeScript stuff, and Prettier is like uh, like they are trying to add support for all the languages, uh, but uh, just when it comes you know integrating all the stuff into a single thing, that's uh, where the context starts to happen, and it's just beyond the you know uh, the handle of the developers you know just to make everything uh, connected and well supported. Like you can even see over here, there must be uh, two different issues, one from ESLint and one from Prettier. Yeah, so you see over here, like even though these are legitimate uh, uh, warnings, that of course there should be a semicolon at the end, uh, no doubt. But uh, there are a few scenarios where like I I have been in deep trouble just to understand like which, uh, which rules should I follow, the ESLint one or the Prettier, the Prettier one. So those are just unbearable. Okay, now what's the problem over here? Okay, it should return the value. Oh, yeah, right. No wait. No, no, no. Uh, I guess so. So okay, so let me just change this to a method instead because uh, returning a value over here is not a uh, very uh, a good idea right now. So I guess this uh, this can work, and this should be methods, right? Oh, so I have already met uh, defined over here. Oops. Uh, my bad. Okay, so I guess this should work now. Let me just add two semicolons just to fix those uh, prettier warning. Okay, I hope it fixed the uh, perfect. And I can just commit the changes that uh, that the toggle is working. Let me just check the branch if I'm on the correct branch. Because I have created uh, two plans specially for this thing, like uh, the first one is this uh, feature help widget. Uh, oh, you cannot see. Okay, right now you see if it's feature help widget, and the other one is like uh, where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh crap! I have to create that one. It's now remember. Oh my god. Okay, so I will just start with uh, this one. I mean, uh, with the changes. Oh wait, I cannot do the change like that. Yeah, just remember. Okay. And yeah, one thing more I just forgot to mention that uh, if you are interested in joining the Thermal Discord server, you are most welcome. Uh, I guess you can just find the invite URL for the Thermal Discord server in the Thermal website. Uh, just head over to this uh, website and I guess it 
should be available at the footer just scroll to the bottom of the page you will see the discord logo just click that logo and it will redirect the discord invite url uh, you can just post your questions over there if you have any question or maybe if you are interested in contribution to the project uh, you can also do that by just checking the talks just uh, this is the url by forward slash talks or if you have any you know, specific question about the contribution or like if you are just new to the open source world or if you are just new to, new to coding stuff I mean like if you are familiar with coding a bit and if you want to dive into open source stuff uh, that's really great because even though this project is open source so I bet uh, you should definitely uh, try to contribute like, even a small, in a small PR like to the documentation or uh, maybe if there is any typo if I have made any mistake uh, you are most welcome you know just uh, just by making a small contribution to the project that's where the whole journey begins and even that was also the same for me that when I was stepping into the uh, open source world it was a, kind of a big change you know just contributing to the open source project I right? just wondering that if my change uh, is you know very important to the project or not like uh, will they even merge my uh, PR or not all this stuff so just forget about that uh, it's, you are totally welcome just be comfortable and uh, like even if you have any question just talk to me in the discord uh, I will be just have to see your questions and uh, yeah and don't forget you know, just give the thermal application a try uh, like it's very new like there are a lot of uh, basic features are missing and I totally get that and I'm trying my best to uh, develop all those features but on the other hand uh, it's very important to uh, maintain the uh, the flow of building the core features of the git uh, inside the thermal application and uh, also building other features which are relevant to the application itself so from, uh, if we see the bigger picture there are a few other features which are also very important for example the uh, shared feedback uh, like it's like even though it's not a core feature of the thermal application but it is uh, related to that uh, in sense that um, uh, it will help to improve uh, the user feedback experience that they can easily uh, if they have any uh, issue with the application or if they want to share their feedback so that flow or the process will be a lot more smoother and that's uh, uh, a crucial part just you know uh, keep the feedback flow uh, the flow of you know uh, in allowing the user to share their feedback is very important because that's what makes an application uh, really good so yeah And if we say, I guess I will also change this later, um, but that's the later part. So now I'm more a bit fo more focused on the, on the share feedback. Okay, so we will start by creating a model, that's obvious, and let me create a new uh, view component. There are already a, a bunch of files, like it's just hard to type into the, the source tree. Okay, so we are in the source, then, uh, not sorry, not over here, uh, render, and then components, and then further models. Also, oh, I also need to fix that spelling name, okay, it's a bit weird. Why the music is not playing? That is not good. Come on, and let me just try to make it again. Okay, I guess the music started uh, already. Um, I will just check that later. Come on. 
we will just play the tab music I don't know what's happening. Okay. Anyway, so we'll just get back to the work uh, and we we'll hope the music plays automatically in the background. Okay, so we are in the models library and uh, in the model, model directory, and over here we will uh, create a new component and that will be, uh, I guess, so naming things is uh, another big task to do. And okay, so what name should we give? Uh, What name can we give to the? Since I was thinking just use the same component uh, for the reporter part, but in future, so like right now I can just uh, name it like uh, feedback or something, you know, feedback of you. Uh, but that will not you know be appropriate uh, if I use the same component for the bug report. I guess. Or maybe uh, I think feedback can also be considered as a bug report, like even though it's just part of feedback. Not sure. So uh, uh, I'll just go with its feedback dot view. And uh, one thing more, guys, I just forgot to mention that there are a few issues on the GitHub. Like if you just know, uh, if you just want to get time into the even if, uh, like even if you uh, don't want to contribute like uh, into the coding stuff. Yeah. Literally, I totally understand that. Uh, totally understand. So, what you can do, like, there are a few issues on the GitHub repository uh, which are marked as discuss, uh, discussion or uh, you know, a good for newcomers. I, think, I don't remember the, uh, the label exactly. I think it's called a uh, good new issue or something or good for first issue. I don't remember the label. Sorry about that. But uh, there's this uh, label called discussion and uh, those uh, issues are kind of a long term issue because uh, working on those issues uh, is a very big deal kind of a same thing and uh, even though it's a, just a part of the, the thermal application also but it does require more and more feedback like what other people think and so that's why there's a label on the specific uh, issue uh, with the, with the with the discussion label so if you have any thoughts uh, about any issue that which has a which has a discussion label you are most welcome uh, just to share your feedback on that also because it will just uh, add an additional uh, point of view that what do you think about the specific issue or specific feature and uh, if i remember correctly uh, they i think there's this uh, yeah there is this one a uh, very important uh, kind of uh, issue and that is uh, thermal design components and I, right now all the components on the thermal application uh, are uh, are inside the thermal application itself and even though like it's uh, like hard coded inside the application also and I was thinking just to you know split the components into separate uh, package uh, so that even if you know use those components in the thermal website the the consistency of the design should be same so i guess it's a very crucial part in terms of uh, designing and uh, branding stuff so uh, i'm still not sure about that also like there are most many components which requires a lot of restructuring uh, just to make sure that it works uh, across platform like uh, from desktop application to a web a website uh, because if you know if even if we use the exact same library of uh, like uh, view components so it shouldn't create a conflict whether we use on the desktop or on the website uh, so that's a very uh, you know a, a broad uh, area which cannot be done with a single person because it requires a lot of people input and what they think about it like even if you have expertise in a design system uh, that will really uh, broaden the point of view like what do you think and what can be added like even if you consider about a simple button uh, so i have uh, considered many ways that how i can create a uh, view button component and i have thought uh, first of all thought about you know okay let's split all the components into different like create a separate component for primary secondary tertiary or outline or disabled and all that stuff uh, but on the other hand uh, 
there are some uh, scenarios where uh, for example if you have a primary button and you want to essentially uh, make it a disabled button or an outline button after specific action so in that area uh, changing the the dom just because you know we are changing the state of the specific button doesn't uh, feel right uh, so then I tried to the another approach where I have a single button component, but all the but the, again that file get a little bit more messier. I think uh, I, I do have that file right. Let me just show you guys. Okay, yeah, I do have that here. So this was the, my second approach which I am using right now. Uh, I did try to maintain a bit uh, just to avoid all those uh, you know. Uh, weirdness but if you know go to the github.com of this uh, repository uh, and if you just uh, blame this file you know with the blame feature you know, i mean i meant by the history of the specific file you will see all those weird stuff i have done uh, making weird changes and all the stuff but right now like I, I did try to make it a bit better using mix scenes with the spacing border and all the stuff but still i am open to suggestion like how we can make the the uh, like we can how we can get most of the new components and how we can make it more better and yeah so it's all part of the, the thermal design system even though like if you just open the thermal application you will see the design itself is a, a kind of a unique and uh, so it's a, you know a good approach even if we make the thermal design system as a public uh, uh, application or a package so that other people can also uh, leverage that design uh, to their uh, to their own use so even if you have any suggestion about that also like how we can you know, uh, improve the, the usage of the new components or how we uh, or how we can change the structure of passing the data from props and um, you know from parent to children or children to parent component all that stuff uh, like even the concept is really awesome you know the way we pass the data it's really awesome but managing the data is a bit hard and that is that is also very crucial uh, just to you know avoid uh, all those weird scenarios in future stages so again okay, so like uh, if you have any thoughts on that also just post them uh, uh, on the github issue or if there is uh, you know if there is uh, like if there is you have any specific issue just create a new one uh, it, it's totally fine Okay, so we had uh, this feedback uh, model, and okay, so I just thought about that also. I I think I need to specifically create a, a component uh, layout uh, where I can. Uh, yeah, I need to create that. I guess I definitely need that. Okay, I can start uh, this for now, but later, uh, like, even though it's a good idea to do that, uh, but again, it uh, like so. I'll just tell you, like, what I was thinking that I will create a separate, like, if you just go to the uh, okay, I'll just show you. So, this is the drop down component, like, it's not specific uh, to the use case, like, it's uh, just a universal drop down component. Uh, if you just go to the uh, drop down list, you can see it's not very fancy, like, it's uh, just an outline you can say. Uh, with the drop down uh, list styles and inside is this, uh, there is this uh, slot uh, tag uh, which just injects all the you know uh, all the content we add to the disc uh, sorry not discord to the drop down uh, list and then then further drop down list we can add uh, as much as drop down items we want or drop down divider we want so so that's the you know the slot thing i want to use more and more and uh, I want to use the same approach for the model itself. Uh, right now, what I'm doing, I can just show you over here. So I'm using like class uh, model small, and instead of that, I can just you know uh, create a prop with the like size small, medium, large. Uh, and also, I think I'm right now. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, I'm defining the style uh, somewhere in the SAS file. Uh, which is also I don't want to use like even I, it's not like that I uh, hate SAS like I totally love SAS uh, it's the best thing uh, but 
I want to use view styles like in line styles, uh, and that's what I want to use uh, in the thermal component, in the thermal design system components also. Yeah. <laughs> even the spellings are also over here right around oh my god right even though that's a very small change but uh, still you know there are a lot of things on the plate already like and on top of that this crappy machine doesn't even work like uh, even if i want to do a live stream or if i have to record a video by using obs it just doesn't work okay Uh, yeah, uh, I think I'm a little bit lightheaded, uh, uh, feeling a bit sleepy. Uh, very sorry about that. Uh, but I guess I will just continue uh, this video, uh, working on this uh, all the features and all the stuff uh, in the next video or the live stream. So just uh, follow me on Twitch or Twitter or join my Thermal Discord server. Uh, so there are two Discord server, my personal one and the Thermal one. Uh, you can just join both or you can just join the Thermal one. Uh, it's up to you and uh, again uh, so I have just created a sponsor page also uh, because that's the most important part of the thermal application itself that's what helps me to build this application for you guys for free uh, also and let me just show you that also real quick let's open the browser just hold on a second Okay, I'm typing the URL. Okay, and it is loading the web page. Because of this uh, OBS, like it has really made my PC very slow. Uh, use it, it doesn't take that much time to load the website. I will close the VS code now, it still should not take that much time. Oh, great. So, uh, this is just the, the landing page, and uh, you can see the, the future, like in the future, how the, the thermal application should look like with all the features built in, like the commit. Like, even though there are a few features which are already there like you can make changes you can push the changes you can call the changes and you can fetch the changes uh, so there's also uh, workspace and the history and also there is stats also like you can check the stats like uh, how many commits you have made uh, on each specific day so that's uh, i think a handy feature and uh, so on the other hand there is this uh, feature called terminal explorer and settings and yeah and uh, you can just see all these things so like uh, so this is just the design uh, or you can say a feature in future uh, or you can say a kind of a goal that we had reached this goal uh, even though it's just a long uh, term ongoing process like just to you know uh, iterate more and more and just bring more features uh, but this is just you can say uh, the level or you can say the level you can expect from a, a, a get graphical user interface and even you can see the design is very uh, simple and minimal and like i think it's a minimal like even though it's not that much uh, minimal you can say it's a bit complex uh, but from my end i did try my best to just to make it more simpler and to understand from a, a developer uh, from a developer point of view that which part of the kit is most used and that's obviously the committing part like this commit the changes but apart from that there are uh, other features also uh, like other things which are very important for a developer with regards to the kit part like you know checking the history of the commits and a lot of other feature like checking the you know specific diff the file uh, those are those are also very important but after all you know it's all start with the committing the changes you know if you just don't even commit the changes you will not get to see the the diff and all the stuff so 
committing changes it's a, a very big part of the kit and yeah so you can see uh, all the stuff and uh, what I want to show you yeah the sponsor page okay so this is the sponsor page uh, I have created just a bunch of tiers uh, so you can just select any uh, tier and help support uh, the development of the, the thermal application which is totally free and open source and uh, so it starts with 100 rupees uh, even though I'm using stripe so I guess you might be able to uh, use uh, the card which is native to your country uh, but uh, I will also add uh, tiers for uh, US dollars also uh, in future uh, I have just to uh, I'm just dealing with some uh, international number which I will just add to stripe which will give access me to uh, to the add uh, international currencies but I guess you can just try to use the international card if that's not working for you guys let me know uh, I'll just uh, provide you something additional from which you can just help uh, sponsor this project uh, but uh, you can just select any tiers uh, apart from that there are uh, some perks also uh, for each tier like you get a discord patch of yes, which as you can see over here and for this backer uh, your name or the name of the company uh, will appear in the backers.md file in the, in the thermal repository and in the bronze silver and gold uh, your name or your company name will appear on the thermal website or on the home thermal home page and also on this uh, page also uh, i will add the uh, your, your name or the name of the company so these are the tiers you can just uh, like it's not very complex just uh, if you want to you know select this tier just uh, click on this button it will redirect you to the, the payment page uh, which will uh, just ask you to uh, enter your payment detail and it will then uh, and that's all and yeah so i totally uh, suggest you just uh, sponsor this project uh, because with the help of a sp uh, sponsorship even with a small sponsorship it will definitely help me uh, to work on this project for free and just to continue uh, building this uh, uh, this project and uh, just to add more features yeah and again if you have any questions uh, with respect to anything maybe just you know uh, from uh, building a feature or if you have any you know, specific feature request or even for documentation just let me know hit up hit a message in the discord uh, i would totally happy to help you out uh, and if you are still wondering like how can i join the thermal discord server uh, so just go to the home page and you will see this, this discord logo just click on that uh, it will open the discord invite url and then uh, it will just ask you to just accept the invitation so i guess that's a that's a bit simple and i guess so uh, thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in next one i, I guess it is still loading the page so it might take a few seconds okay yeah great so okay so wow so we have 35 members so that's great uh, so i totally suggest you to just uh, uh, to join the thermal discord server and uh, maybe contribute a small chunk of uh, tips uh, that will really help me out and yeah that's all for today and i'll see you next one bye bye